Now here is the most important part of this step. Go inside of your application tray into this little search icon area. Now up here, search for optimized battery usage. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel of Jamia's Promo. Today's topic is talking about the issue of what to do if some of your apps do not send you notifications. So because the Galaxy Note 10 just launched, I've been getting more frequent questions around this topic. I got this one around the Galaxy S10 launch as well. So it's not an issue with the Note 10, it's just an issue with getting a brand new phone and having to make a couple settings changes. Now, ironically enough, I was a victim of this once I got the Galaxy Note 10 Plus with the application of Gmail. So here in this video, I'm going to show you a few steps you can take to make sure that all of your notifications is not only on, but you will also receive those based on some of these setting changes. But before we head inside of that, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I've made so far for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. So how about we go through and I'm gonna mimic probably the same thing that you guys did when you're trying to figure out why notifications didn't come through and I'm gonna show you a few hidden treasures. So inside of settings, you probably went inside of notifications. You made sure that your do not disturb was turned off. The app icon badges was up there. Uh, underneath, you know, seeing all of the applications, I noticed that again, Gmail was turned on. Everything looked great. I even went inside of there and everything was turned on. I even went through the application itself where I press and held. I went to app info, uh, went down to notifications and it was all there. Everything was turned on, but for some reason it would still not pop up on the top left. The only time I received my emails was when I opened up the application itself and they all loaded. So here's a couple things you want to do to make sure that you get your notifications. So inside of here, go again one more time, notifications. Scroll all the way down to where you see these two options here. So the first one is sleeping apps. If you accidentally turned on your Gmail to be a sleeping app, then what will happen is that you will not have this application running in the background, which also means that they will not receive updates or send notifications. So if the application in question is right here, make sure you go through and you take it off. You can even hit that little trash can and let's say that we want to turn those ones off so we can remove those from sleeping. Uh, and I'm just going to leave those because these are perfectly fine. But if yours was sleeping, then that is going to be one of the issues. Now, the other one is underneath data saver. Uh, just make sure that you have this one turned off as well, because if you have data saver turned on, that means it's saving your battery life by making sure applications are not running in the background. And that's specifically more or less for the applications that have to sync up with the server. And so this right here will also allow you to not get those notifications. So now if you've gone through those two steps, here's the next steps you wanna do. And this is to ensure that it doesn't go back into going back to sleep. So if you go underneath device care, and then you go underneath battery. Now inside of here on the very top right hand side, click on more options and hit on settings. So this is the one you wanna look at, put unused apps to sleep. So yes, you went through, you took off Gmail from being a sleeping application, but right here it states that after three days, if you don't use a particular application, it will put it to sleep. So I would say put it up to maybe six days because there could be a time where you don't open any particular apps for three days straight. Maybe on a holiday weekend, which we just went by, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe Saturday, Sunday, Monday, you didn't want to check your emails, boom, it was put to sleep. So if you extend this one to about six or seven days, this way you should be able to ensure that the applications that you use, maybe on a six day period, maybe a seven day period will never go to sleep, which they probably shouldn't need to go to sleep if these are ones that you use almost on a daily basis or every other day. Now, if there's applications that you don't even touch for seven days straight, then yeah, you should probably put those ones to sleep because you're not using them that often. So this step here that we just did was just to ensure that those applications don't get put back onto that list. Now, here's the most important part of this step. Go inside of your application tray into this little search icon area. Now up here, search for optimized battery usage. Once you type in optimize, it should pop up right away and you go inside of optimized battery usage. And again, one more time, optimize battery usage. Now up here on the very top, you do want to search for all. So this right here is another way that your application could maybe be put to sleep 
or a way that it is trying to optimize and save your battery life. Again, turn on optimized battery usage for individual applications. Some functions, such as those that mobile data or sync data, it will be restrictive so that it can save battery. So this is the one, this is the main culprit of probably this issue at hand for your S devices, you know, the Galaxy S10s, uh, the Note 10s. And so you wanna scroll down and one more time, I'm gonna find where it says Gmail. So really, it's just one of those things that's kind of like two big things. You wanna make sure that number one, it's not sleeping, making sure it also doesn't go on the sleeping list. That was step two. And number three, you don't want it to optimize for your battery. Uh, so then now this way, it's anything's gonna be pushed, pulled, synced and everything in real time for your application of Gmail. So you can have it turned on for all of your applications, but for those ones that are most important, or maybe for those that are a little finicky and definitely not giving you any notification whatsoever, syncing through servers, like this one is a messaging application. This is one that is given to me. So the moment that someone sends me a message, it's being pushed through but sometimes it doesn't have to sync like Gmail. So that is why Gmail was one of those issues and probably also some of the other email applications. So I know that that sounded like a lot, but I wanted to make sure that I covered all of the bases, making sure that you get your notifications. So really the only two most important steps is underneath settings and notifications, just making sure that it's not on the list of the sleeping apps. If it is, make sure that you take it off that list. The next thing is inside of your application tray, go to your search and search for optimized battery usage, optimized battery usage, and underneath the all button, you can see everything basically listed out, all 495, <laughs> everything that is an app as well as a function of the phone, but you can find it really fast by searching for the app in question, which mine was Gmail, and making sure it's turned off. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.